Jasmine. Hey, what up? Yeah. What's hey, up? Jasmine <laughs> TV. Congratulations yeah. on uh, being part of a uh, Tomorrow War here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. You two are such badasses in the in this in this film. What initially attracted you to a project like this? Uh, I just love that this character was a female in power, not being threatened by a, a male, you know, in, in another position of power. There was like no um, sort of power struggle between mm -hmm. her and another man in power. Um, so I was really able to be like unapologetically strong and, and powerful. I really love that. And just aliens, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah aliens. same. Yeah, <laughs> aliens, time traveling shooting guns doing like action and then comedic relief in this action world you know i i think seeing how funny it was on paper was really like and then once you see the cast it's like oh this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be hilarious so yeah yeah that's awesome how, how was your experience on working with all this green screen and cgi you know, like we were, we were blessed to be able to mix like practical elements and CGI. So, yeah. uh, you know, in, instead of some of the CGI, we'd actually, we actually went to Iceland and, and got to like be in that landscape and not really have to imagine it. Um, you know, obviously the aliens were CGI. So we have to work with our imagination a lot of times, which was a, a bit of a challenge admittedly for me. Cause I was just like, how do I look like, is this going to, is this going to be okay? And it's my first film too. So I've never worked with CGI before and a green screen. Um, so I was nervous about it, but seeing the finished product, it turned out great. Yeah. yeah. Were, were the white spikes uh, scarier when you finally watched on screen or was it scary in your imagination? It's scary on screen when I watched, honestly, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize how like gritty the alien would look like in the around the mouth and face area. I didn't and like the teeth and stuff. It was really well done um, to bring that kind of horror aspect to a, a sci-fi creature alien. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think if uh, if I had known how scary they were actually going to be, I would not have been able to play my character as well because <laughs> I would have been scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if you if you actually had you know, to either have uh, Chris's uh, Dan or Yvonne's uh, Romeo to, to fight to your side, who would you rather have and why? I'm going to be real. I think I'll have to go with Yvonne. I, I got to go Romeo Command. She was a beast, yo. Like, <laughs> she was such a beast. I think I, it's just her experience. And, um, yeah, I got to roll with Romeo. Sorry. Yeah, Romeo, come in. I, I do the same thing. She has more experience and force mm -hmm. in fighting these things. And she she she's sort of inside of their minds. Like she she knows their behaviors and their yeah. tendencies. Um, So I'd go with Romeo Command too. Seems Sorry, super man. poised too. She was super yeah, poised. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let, let me wrap it up with one, one, one fun question. Because uh, one of the things that... Uh, when people watch this, everyone gets transported into the future with the outfits that they are wearing, seemingly <laughs> to, to die in. Would, would, are you willing to die in the outfit you're wearing right now? Or would you rather uh, wear something else? <laughs> I'd rather wear something else. I see you got the Under Armour shirt on. I'm going right to the Under Armour. I'm putting on my uh, compression pants, my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to like pack some boots and maybe some uh, cargo pants as well, but I'm going right to my my uh, compression shirt and shorts. And... Yeah, I'm going with my like <laughs> my thrift store army fatigue baggy yeah. pants, the crop top, some Doc Martens, and like my hair in the afro. Yeah. That's my death Animal, outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Bury me in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Jasmine, Keith, hey, thank you for uh, speaking uh, with me about uh, the, the movie. It's, it's been yeah. a pleasure so much. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Appreciate thank you, man.